Hi, Paul here from Photo Genius. Welcome to my channel and welcome to the latest Photo Genius Photography Challenge, which started out as a weekly isolation challenge and covered subjects such as macro, abstract photography, composition, and even painting with light, amongst others. If you missed out on those challenges and want to go and check them out, no problem. I'll put a link up here and also in the description below. So now that the COVID-19 restrictions are, at least for some of us, starting to be eased, the challenge is going to go monthly with a brand new hashtag. And the hashtag for this first challenge is PGC11. Please use the hashtag if you're posting your images to social media so I and others can find them. So now onto this month's challenge and the theme this month is color. So what I want you to do is I want you to take an image where the color is the dominant feature of the image or the subject fits the particular color. This is gonna be an interesting challenge because it will mean that you are actively going out and looking for subjects that are the correct color. Now this may mean sometimes you will find a subject that is the right color, but normally you wouldn't even consider photographing it. And that's the challenge. Find a way to make it work. Now, I believe that photographers see the world slightly differently and notice things other people might miss. Now, this is something you learn over time. So by restricting what you can photograph based on a particular color, it's actually a great way to get you looking a little bit harder at your surroundings and maybe noticing and picking up on photo opportunities in places you would never normally consider. So of course, you're probably wondering what color I'm gonna set you for this month's challenge. Well, this is where it gets interesting because the color you're gonna be photographing this month is based on the month you were born. If you were born in January, February, or March, your color is gonna be yellow. If you were born in April, May, or June, your color is blue. If like me, your birth date was in July, August, or September, then your color is red. And finally, October, November, December, your color for the month is green. And please, no cheating, stick to the color you are set. Now, as my birthday falls in July, my color for the month is going to be red. And I, of course, have had a bit of a head start on you guys. So yesterday, when I was out doing my grocery shopping, I purchased some tomatoes. When I got home, I unpacked my shopping and I wanted to take a picture of the tomatoes, but I wanted it to be an interesting image. So what I'm doing is I'm using some of the techniques that we covered in previous challenges here, namely food photography, and depth of field. So finding a subject that matches the color that you're set for the month, that's not the challenge, that bit will be quite easy. It's trying to use that subject and create an image that is interesting and engaging. My tip is to find ways of using some of the things and some of the techniques that you've learned in previous challenges. And I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. This image was simply taken with my smartphone and it might look like I've used some cool filter to create the red effect. Actually, I've not done anything to this image. It's simply a reflection in a window. Photo opportunities are everywhere. You just gotta find them. Now remember, the challenge is now monthly as opposed to weekly, and I really like to see your photos. So if you want, you can share them to the challenge Facebook group, which is free to join. I'll put a link in the description below. Some of you, of course, may wanna share your images to Instagram. If you do, please make sure you use the hashtag PGC11 or I and others can't find your images. If you are up for the challenge, Give this video a thumbs up, consider subscribing to my channel, and down below you can leave your comments, suggestions, and questions. I hope to see you again soon. Good luck with the challenge. See ya, bye.